Hey there guys, my name is Marques and in this video I'm going to compare QQQ with QQQM. I'm someone who loves investing into ETFs but more than investing I love analyzing ETFs. So if you have your own opinion on QQQ on QQQM write it down below in comments. Also I'd be really happy if you would write me some ETFs that you are curious about and you would like to find some comparison about your specific ETFs I would make gladly video about those two. Also, I made course down below in the description about how you can make money with ETFs, what are some important things to know about the ETFs and also what are some good ETFs to invest to. So definitely check the course down below. Now, without further ado, let's go and let me show you the basic differences. Now, many times people are like, but there aren't many differences between QQQ and QQQM. There is one and I'm going to read you a Reddit comment which describes it so damn well that even I wouldn't be able to uh, describe it. So the biggest difference is in expense ratio 0.20 for QQQ and QQQM 0.15. So QQQM is much cheaper, but you would say that, okay, but so why would I have to invest to QQQ? Many times uh, QQQ is really old, old fund ETF. So what does it mean is that not a lot of people uh, when they have the positions already in QQQ, they are not going to sell it and then invest to QQQM. But QQQM is for is a competitive advantage for Invesco. And now let me read you. My read on the situation is QQQ is very popular and many people have already bought into it at the current rate. It is the second most traded ETF on the market. However, ETF competition is getting intense, like even with ARK. And if Invesco wants to stay in a game for new investors or new funding of old investors, they needed to produce NASDAQ 100 ETF that has lower costs to stay competitive. As you can see, expense ratio is lower. We continue. However, they didn't want to give up the revenue they already have from QQQ. With over 180 billion in assets under management, is it a huge chunk of change in profit to give up, lowering the expense ratio just to 0.19? much less 0.15. So what does it mean? That imagine, uh, so QQQ, when there's like, so look at look at the assets under management and look at the here assets under management, 2.5 billion in QQQM comparing to QQQ, 201 billion. And now imagine that Invesco, what would happen if Invesco would lower the expense ratio of QQQ from 0.20, as it was mentioned in Reddit comment, from 0.20 to 0.16, 17. They would lose so much money. But what they did, like, okay, we got a QQQM for new investors and also for the old investors to QQQ if they want to invest. So therefore, they make even more money. And look at this. QQQM is a new and the bid ask spread will be slightly higher. This means there will be a slightly higher amount of loss in a trade. This will eventually go away as more people buy it. I would be willing to put new investment funding into QQQM over QQQ. However, I'm not going to sell my existing QQQ in my taxable account just so I can buy QQQM at a tenuous lower cost. Invesco know this and this is partly why they know they don't want to lower the QQQ expense ratio to be more competitive for new investor funds. So, and, and now, uh, when I'm going to show you also the number of holdings and how it all looks like, it's completely the same. So let me show you. Expense ratio is lower. When you even check the, the, the copying mechanism here, it's very, very similar. And look at this. All the sections are same. Technology, consumer, healthcare, consumer non-cyclicals, industrial, Microsoft, all the numbers are same. So I can really say too much. And even when I come here and uh, I have the website where I compare the fund overlap, you see that QQQ is completely same by QQQM. And these are the main differences. So in expense ratio. Now, I wanted to make this video really quick and really effective for everyone who is interested in what are the main differences between these two. Now, if you can have any questions or regards of um, QQQ on QQQM that you'd like to understand and get grabs on how we can get it better. And that's pretty much it. Now, again, I'll be really happy if you would write me down below in the comments your own 
ETFs that you are curious about, that you read, that you would like me to compare, and I'm going to make videos on it for you. I'll, it will make me really happy because I love analyzing all the investing stuff. It makes me so damn happy for some reason. And that's pretty much it. Now, of course, um, definitely check the course down below in the description. Now, I want to show you another thing. When I have the QQQ here, I'm going to write also QQQ M because you shouldn't actually focus like it's a new thing. You shouldn't actually focus on year end yield because you don't really have it here, but you don't actually focus on dividend yield history. This is not like VOO because when I'm going to write VOO here, of course, it's completely different. It's for yield, more focus and more revenue you would get from yield. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Um, now, my recommendation, two, three things. First thing, focus on how you can make more money from your day job or from business. That would make you... It would make uh, much more sense comparing to trying to like get more money from the market. That's what I do. And that's uh, what works for me too, because for me to earn more money is much easier from business comparing to investing. And the second thing is don't change the strategies as I do, as I did in the past. That what I did is that I was changing the strategy every single year because I was trying to optimize, optimize. And in the long run, I lost money because like when I come here and I'm going to write VOO, look at this and like I just just like continue from 2019 just invest 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 right but who would have known that this would happen what would happen when the world um was doing some kind of shenanigans and yeah so this was pretty much it thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye see ya